I want to say that I'm uh, humbled and honored, and this is like a dream for me. If you had told me back in the day when I was in the closet struggling with my sexual orientation, that one day I would be standing here as an out lesbian and a TV host moderating a discussion that's going to be heard and seen nationally about LGBT issues, I'd say, you're dreaming. Well, guess what? My dreams came true, because here we are, and I'm talking about it. And I'm out, and I'm proud, and I'm proud of you for being here. I whether you're gay, whether you're straight, whether you're bisexual, whether you're transgender, this is a dialogue that we can all learn from because what's, what's the point of life? Uh, we're here to find out who we really are and what our purpose is in life. And so this discussion about identity can help all of us. So with that, I want to welcome my absolutely incredible panel. We're having a great time backstage. By the way, we're all going karaoke afterwards, and you're invited. <laughs> all right. Uh, gotten to know Donna Rose, who is a powerhouse, and she has done more to teach corporate America about transgender lifestyle, the transsexual lifestyle, and she has really changed the thinking of corporate America. And this is a woman of so many firsts. Um, she was the first openly transgender member of HRC, that's Human Rights Campaign Board of Directors. She's the first openly transgender member of the Board of Directors for the National Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. First, 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 and her memoir, Wrapped in Blue, is amazing. Let's welcome Donna Rose. Come on out, girl. <laughs> All right, you're right there. All right, now, uh, let's talk about yeah. community building within the LGBT community because I think some people might say, oh, we're just monolithic and it's all big, one happy family and we're right. partying all the time and dancing. But no, there is a little, <laughs> there are some issues. So um, Donna Rose, it, do you feel as a transgender that there is discrimination uh, and a transsexual within the LGBT community against transsexuals and transgenders? Yes. Why? <laughs> because we still make people uncomfortable. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an odd dynamic, um, but when we, we use this whole term about LGBT, um, as though we were one big happy family, um, and we're really not. There are, are many, many trans people who feel that our rights, our pathway to equality is not the same as the LGB pathway to equality, and that focusing so much on um, marriage equality takes away from the fact that we get fired every day, that 41% of us, um, based on the um, study that just came out through the task force and um, NCTE last year, are, are attempting suicide. Um, and making, just making it through the day to an unbearably difficult thing. And so socially and culturally, when we start talking about, you know, what, as a trans person, I mean, I'm a, I'm a cynic at heart, and, I, and sometimes I kind of half joke that why ruin a good relationship with a marriage? Um, <laughs> <clears throat> but, but at the same time, <laughs> You know, we, we look at, at, at what's happening and the, the whole incremental kind of approach that, that, that seems to happen politically. And there is a lot of discomfort. Um, myself, I'm, I was interested, I was attracted to women before. I haven't changed, so now I had someone say, so now you're a lesbian. I said, I, I consider myself a situational lesbian because <laughs> I haven't changed, you know. I, yeah. I mean, I, it, but they had a they had a theme like that on the old word. It, I saw. It, Max. But we haven't had our will and grace moment. You know, we haven't had our moment culturally. Mm -hmm. We're still battling a, a crazy show on NBC that's coming out now, where they've got two guys who are in dresses standing up against a urinal and kind of throwing us back to decade-old stereotypes of, of you know where we've come from and, and 
what gets thrown back against us when we're trying to fight for workplace discrimination. So we're, we're like at the stone ages when it comes to a lot of this stuff. And you know, I've heard a number of things tonight already that I find fascinating. When you introduced me, you mentioned that the transgender lifestyle, I don't even know what a transgender lifestyle <laughs> is. You know, I Neither mean, do I. I because, <laughs> because I'm just like you. I, I, I have a career, I have a son, I, I pay my bills, I do, I mean, I don't know what a lifestyle is, and, and I noted more than once where we talk about gays and lesbians, but we leave out transgender people, or we talk about gay, but we don't say, and so I'm very sensitive, we are very sensitive to being left out of the party, or not considered real men or women, or, or somehow or another, we haven't paid our dues yet, and so there is very much, as I've been the first of, of my community in the various things I've done, there's been a very a significant learning curve. I'll, I'll just give a, an example. When I was on the board of HRC, at the first meeting, they come out with um, statistics of how we're broken out. I mean, how many um, men and women, how many um, by race, all kinds of things. And when I joined the board, they had men, women, then transgender. And I wrote back, I said, you know, I, I, I assume this makes sense to you, but what I read are men, women, and other. Mm. And I'm not an other. I mean, I've gone through an incredibly difficult process to integrate into, into society in, in a role that makes me comfortable. And for you now to do this, you know, shows an insensitivity, a, 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 a sense of being unaware, and I know it wasn't on purpose, mm -hmm. but that's kind of what we're doing. That's kind of why we're having these kinds well, of conversations. Well, I, I just want to say that I think you're an individual human being of incredible courage, oh, and I think you. most of our audience would agree. Uh, I want to talk about, well, as a lesbian, I'd, I'd personally like to say my issue is when I go to all these galas and events, I want to see more women, okay? It's all guys. It's a, you know what, Fess, I won't say the word. <laughs> 